This video app review is brought to you by the iPhoneAppReview.com. Hey guys, this is Valerie Lauer with the iPhoneAppReview.com here to talk to you today about a fabulous um, new application we have here on my iPhone called Cooktorial. Um, and without further ado, let's go ahead and launch that bad boy and see what's going on. So Cooktorial is actually a really interesting um, recipe and cooking application. So as it, the name might suggest, <laughs> what I like about this is that it, what it tries to do is make the most of the ingredients that you have in your kitchen so that, you know, one, you're not putting things to waste and not cooking them and end up having them in the dumpster and that doesn't do anybody any good. Um, so it saves you a little bit, little bit of money by making use of what you have on location and it also, you know, gives you some ideas that you might not think about um, otherwise in your kitchen. So let's go ahead and just talk about the functions of it, what goes into, you know, setting up the ingredients and creating recipes and then we'll talk about some of the settings and um, personalization options as well, okay? So as the screen says here, um, you would press the plus sign in the upper right hand corner um, to add ingredients to your list. So let me show you that. You tap on that bad boy right there. And then what it does, it gives you all these different categories that you can look into to pick out food. So let's say in your kitchen today, you have bread. And then when you can press this button up here to do back to go to other areas. Uh, from the deli, maybe we have some crab salad, you know, et cetera, et cetera. You can go through all these. And it's organized really well. Um, I do like that. It's um, pretty comprehensive. The only thing I wish was on the screen was a search function um, or the ability to add individual ingredients that you had that the uh, app doesn't. But it really is extremely detailed. Um, you know, it goes into all kinds of individual things that might pop up, so that's good. Once you have all the um, items entered that you have for in your kitchen, you press done. Which is up here in the upper right hand corner to go back to the main screen. Now I'm going to cheat because you, you know the more um, ingredients you enter, the better the options are, of, or chances are of having a good recipe come back that you actually want to do. So I'm going to tap start over here in the bottom. I'm going to clear off everything. And then I've cheated. There's a most common ingredients button down here. If you tap that, actually shows you the things that you've entered previously in the past. So um, for instance, I have you know butter, flour, oil, penne, pepper, and all that good stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and say those are all my things that I have. Um, the button down here in this corner is the edit button. So say you, you don't have pepper anymore. You tap the little guy next to it and choose delete. Great. So once the, these are all correct and you have everything that you've have in your kitchen listed here, you would go ahead and tap on show results here at the bottom. Now what that does is it gives you a really great um, search result. And what that means is that it's organized by the type of recipe, it's organized by um, the difficulty level, by the time that you have, and also the kitchen. So those are all things that we're gonna look at in the settings here in just a minute. So don't be too concerned if those aren't things that you're horribly familiar with right now. Um, but again, really good organization. Let's go ahead and take a look at the full recipes and some things that I can make right now for my kitchen are um, pasta or a simple pork rib dress. Let's go and look at the pasta one. So say I wanted to make pasta, then I am absolutely in the know here. I can whip up my ingredients. It has a little step-by-step -step preparation method. The pictures are great. I love the checkerboard um, surround there. It kind of reminds me of that Julia Child's The Art of French Cooking, although this is obviously much easier to <laughs> use than that particular tomb of recipes. So great. let's go ahead and go back to that main screen. Now what you may have noticed um, is where it tells you how many searches you have left. So just for free, this app actually is a free download. You get 20 searches um, to go through and pick out individual um, ingredients, find recipes, and you can pull out more than one recipe from each response. Um, right now, I did, there was no way to get these, you know, sent anywhere or published or anything. But you know, find what you want. Great thing. And then we'll also look at the settings just to kind of tell you what options you have as a user. So this is my favorite, um, filters. Now, filters are great because you can organize your menu results by difficulty. So by stars, so we have easy, medium, hard, 
mm, there we go, hard. Um, you can do it by duration. You have half an hour, one hour, two hours unlimited. And then this bottom part is called kitchens. I love this. So say that you are someone who cooks a lot of Asian food. Maybe you cook Vietnamese. Maybe you cook you know, more Mediterranean or boring or even love Moroccan um, fare. And you don't have these other types of things in your kitchen. Turn off that type of ingredient. Um, just to get better, more refined search results that really apply to your kitchen and to your cooking situation, which I love quite a bit. Um, back button, again, is really good. They're really great at navigation. There's always a back button, which I am a big fan of um, in applications. The unlock features option is kind of cool. So like I said, the app is free. Love me some free. Um, but you can remove the ads that support it by spending on your intents. Or you can upgrade this to unlimited searches from that um, 20 search limit by paying $1.99. So those are just some upgrade options for the application. Um, again, just downloading it is free. There is a help folder, which this is, might be great just to come in and read this to start with. Um, nothing too fancy here, but there is a cute little video here at the bottom. Which is great and kind of shows you the walkthrough and just gives you some general information. Um, about using the application. Let's go ahead and back out of that. Um, and then the last thing here is about just some information about the developers and the application. If you ever have any questions or want to contact them, which you know happens, maybe you love it, maybe you want to submit ingredients, maybe you want to submit some recipes, um, maybe you are just a big, big fan, which I can't blame you for. This is a really great application. So I gave this application four out of five stars. Um, I think it's great that it really does the job, that it, it's innovative, it's a way to clear out your cabinet, it's a way to save money, and the fact that the original application is free is my favorite thing ever. Um, so again, that's four out of five stars.